sick If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here Yeah, I was feeling kind of lonely and depressed But you picked me up and you got me out of that mess And I can't believe it, I'm truly blessed Hi, right, it's Henry, and today I'm going to be showing you a new Minecraft series that I'm starting Simply where I'm just going to show you uh, bases that I've built in single player uh, as you can see, this is one of them, and we'll get to it in a sec. I just want to finish talking about this. I have another base that I've built, and one I'm currently working on, with mods I've just installed, mod loader, inventory editor, too many items, and uh, the single player commands. So, uh, each one of the bases I've made in a different point in Minecraft, different updates. So, this one was made in 1.6 which is the earliest one I've built so some of the stuff might not be as impressive as you thought or actually this might be 1.8 it's whenever Pistons just came out I think that was 1.8 so uh, yeah I'm gonna get right to it so this is I mean just how I imagine building myself a base and so yeah lava kinda surrounding it I'm gonna go ahead and turn on fly mode Go around here for you. Hopefully, that's not too laggy. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, a little bit of the upper part here is just kind of three blocks surrounded with lava. Turn fly mode off. Go ahead and open the doors. Cover with water here initially to protect TNT, but I mean, now in my in multiplayer you don't ever use doors because of glitching and stuff so that's that go ahead around here there's not really much it's just kinda of surrounding there's a lot of here I'll show you why that's there in a little bit yeah so this is just a surrounding path never really did anything with it here and I'll show you a secret in there in a sec so first I'm just gonna go to sleeping quarters so different players can use the beds here and set spawn and if they need more room for chests or more beds, they can put them here too. Go outside. All the doors are covered with water. And it's actually got a nice little uh, archery shooting location up here. Hold on a sec. Let me quick change it today. Like that. All right. And you can actually hop down here and do the same. So we'll go in this door here. And I'll show you this. So... Uh, there's nothing in these chests here, and I don't think there's any, oh, here's some food, obviously. I think these are the ones that are actually filled. Alright, so we're going to try, yeah, see, armor here, so you can quick stock up on stuff, weapons, I'm guessing, yeah, right before you go out in battle. Yeah, alright, so let's show you secret number one of two. So... We're just gonna quickly hop down like that. And I'm gonna use this. And I think it's right here. Yeah. So basically, what I made was oh, it was right here. It was a small little entrance that you could use like this. Obviously, this would not be a good idea to use now because it could easily be blown up because it's just secret dirt then the water current just takes you down to a secret door here again as you can see with the little uh, lava droplets here it's under the lava so now we are inside of the base and remember that ladder here it is so now I'm gonna go ahead and break the glass and so this is kinda what I would call a panic room go down here, flow into the water, drop down here, and the chests are filled with extra stuff if you need more. And that's the glass so you can cover it back up, somebody can cover it back up, uh, so people don't know. So I'm going to quick go up here, we'll find the hole, so here's the hole, and cover it with glass, like that. And now, uh, once they're gone and everything, you can go ahead and break this block. I'm just going to go to creative mode and break it. Go ahead 
Give myself the obsidian. Cover it back up. That. Okay. So now, yeah, that's that's pretty much the base, and obviously it's a a little bit outdated, as you can tell, because of yeah that. And um, so these down here are different wall styles. As you can see, this you can imagine how much obsidian that'll take to build. So it's also a good idea to have a nice little wall. I mean, just as an initial protection, it doesn't take much to do. Um, you might have a lot of excess dirt, and instead of just throwing it in lava or selling it for like a penny or something, you can use it and surround your base nice and easy. And yeah, it might not be a lot of protection, but it's better than nothing. And if you are a huge obsidian miner, and you have an obsidian maker, or you have tons of obsidian, that's another great thing to do. You can make a nice little stair here, and you can also arch and use your bow and arrow from up here. And uh, the most common one I would say is this. If you're going to have a ton of cobblestone from mining, go ahead and make a wall around that. You could even put, I didn't implement it here, but you can put water flowing from there and drop it like that. Alright, so that's pretty much the base. I'm going to, I also use this map kind of to make some other cool little builds, and I'll show you those right now. So, uh, right now I'm going to show you this thing, and uh, it's what's implemented inside of this. This is a pass lock uh, door. So this door opens, you have to type in a combination and open that up. And you've seen this, I'm not sure what the name is called, but uh, yeah. So this is what it does. You're pushing buttons like this. And this causes the redstone to turn on, which turns this on. If this is on, that turns off, turning that off. And that's kind of how this works in there. So I'm going to, I know the combination. And actually, this is like, nobody, it's not really known. It doesn't say it on it, but this resets the entire thing. So you press that to reset it. And you have to make sure that this is right. It is right. And click that, and the door will open like that. So now I've, uh, I've actually implemented some cool stuff inside of this. So right away, if somebody's following you, click this lever, the door will automatically close like that. So that's one thing you can do. Next thing is, as you can read this, if you hit this redstone, it will never work. It'll just make sh So let's say you're being raided and you don't want the door to be opened at all. You can just make it like that and nobody can get in that door using the combination. Obviously you would build your base down there below the surface and this would just be a way to get in. And now so main thing is what I would do is I'd do the combination, close the door, and then reset the lock by pushing that and then flipping this back and it'll stay closed. Now at any point you can click that and open it up for somebody else to come in or like if you don't want them to know the combination or for yourself to get out. Now here's the room with the redstone work. So as you can see, there's different stuff connected. That's the reset button right down there. Because remember I said earlier that this resets the entire thing. And what it does is it's the same thing as earlier. You click the button, and that'll turn this on. Turning this off, turning this on, which carries that to here, making this redstone wire active and this inactive. And how it works is if this, these two are both inactive, it turns this one on, and if this one's on, it runs to the door and turns the door on. So at any point, if one of these is um, is active, like this one right here, this will be off. And the way to, the door opens is if this is on. So that's kind of how that works, and here's some redstone wire that kind of goes around to the other doors. So, yeah, we'll move on. Uh, the next thing is a simple TNT cannon. As you can see right here, um, we'll go ahead grab some TNT. Um, so obviously you put one right there, you load it up like that, click the switch, and it'll blow the crap out of that, and that'll, yeah. So simple, obviously there's better, easier ways to make it. This is how it was when uh, 1.8 or whenever this was built happened, yeah. So we'll go to the piston doors now. So I made it like a nice little simple piston door like that. Um, I have a, you probably have seen the episode 7 of my town series. Um, the new episode 8 is coming out soon. I've 
been working on some buildings along with some of my other friends. Uh, a Jill, who featured in last episode, is still working on his pixel art, so that's new. And I actually have some cool inventions with pistons in that episode. So, yeah. Uh, redstone work. Go ahead and show you that. Not not really easy to see, but basically what it is is these redstones connected to the pistons there. It's hard to see with the obsidian. And then uh, this, basically what happens is this redstone wire runs up to the lever. When you hit the lever, it activates or deactivates this torch. As you can see, it's activated now. If this is activated, all this redstone wire is activated as well, closing the pistons and vice versa. If you hit it, it'll open. So this right here is just uh, a simple way to shoot enemies. So like that, I'm getting hit. It's hard to tell because I'm wearing armor, but you can see all those arrows. I timed it pretty well so that I used the reset. Oh, oh crap, it's going to shoot again. Okay. But I timed them so that normally walking like I showed you earlier it would hit you just by activating a pressure plate like that okay we'll move on um, the next thing here is an unfinished project I was trying to get it so you could hit a, a lever like this these would open these doors and you can get this one and open both of those doors and I could not figure out how to do it and after a while, I just kind of gave up on it, moved on to the next one. Um, right here is a simple little trap base. Um, a lot of, I like having this, and in um, multiplayer, if I play on a different server other than EvoCraft, which I rarely do, but if I do, I usually make one of these. A nice little simple setup base to get um, noobs in kill them and take their stuff. It's pretty simple. I'm sure we've all tried something like this or done something similar. So I'm going to go ahead and grab... I'm going to need one. No need for a stack. Um, actually, I'm going to grab two. Pig just knocked me off. Okay. This video is going to run long. Just a little warning. Okay. So, um, as you can see, there's dirt here. And the reason for that is you can put a lever on it. I think, did I... Hold on, let me figure something out. I haven't I haven't been on this map in too long, but basically what it does... Okay, those aren't working, but... What it does is inside of here is water. And I'll show you the inside in a sec after I make it day. Right here. And it's being... The door is being blocked by a piston. So it's, a, it's actually a pretty good way to keep people out. So I'm just going to get rid of these because these clearly aren't working. Alright. Um, so I'll show you what happens in the inside. So you walk in like this thinking, oh yeah, there's probably some way in. Nope. It's filled with water. If the piston's closed, they cannot do anything. They can't breathe. They will eventually run out of air. So yeah, they can't get back out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch game modes to creative and I'm going to go ahead and break the piston real quick alright and I'm going to switch back right now okay hopefully that worked no right, I'm going to do it from the okay yeah there we go okay now I'm stuck aren't I crap I have to do everything the hard way now. <laughs> Sorry about this. Okay. I'm just gonna make everything easier. So put that back. So you flip the switch, and yes, the pistons close. It's not really much redstone work. You don't have to be a genius. Wow. Oh my goodness. You don't have to be a genius redstone worker to make something like this. It's literally just connecting two pistons with a lever. You can turn them on and off. And you have a side door that's just for me to get in. And yeah, so that's why this doesn't work. Uh, those, those dirt things. It's because 
I did not connect the redstone wire, but what happens is I can go like this. And now, see the door opens. So, if you need a way to get in and you have a lever, you have a stone button or something, you can go ahead and do that. So, I know this was a long episode. Um, I'll try not to make it this long in the future. It just, there was this, m this map had quite a bit of stuff, so that's just why. Um, stay tuned in. I have a seed featuring ready for you guys that'll come out in soon and um, More bases are on the way so have a good day, and I'll see you guys later